Hi, I'm back with my TWA. Uh, I said I was going to do a soap cap, so that's what we're here to do. I'm using the Age Beautiful Permanent Color uh, Lightener, Cream Lightener. I have the two ounce. I also have the Ion Sensitive Scalp Developer in a 30. Last time I did my hair, it was a 40 that I used with this Age Beautiful. So I'm going to try it with a 30 this time. Um, last time I had a relaxer. This time I am natural. And I'm going to do a soap cap. So I'm going to mix it with my shampoo. And this is the shampoo that I have. Um, it's actually this with uh, like two other shampoos that I mixed with this just because I really like the pump. I don't remember what shampoos they are. But we're going to see how the soap cap turns out. So I'm going to do an ounce of this, put it in my little cup here, okay, which an ounce is really half of the container here. So I have about that much in there and then I'm going to do two parts developer. The developer is four ounces, so I'm gonna pour about half of the developer in here. Uh-oh, I think I put a little too much. It'll be all right. This is Wilson, so I'm gonna stir it. I have this I'm gonna use to stir it with, and I'll show you the consistency. So, whoops, got a little rough there. This is my consistency. I'm going to put this to the side and I'm going to add in some of my shampoo here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I did about 15 pumps of shampoo. I'm going to stir that up. And I do have the uh, Biolage shampoo that I normally use on my hair. But because this shampoo is mixed with a lot of my moisture um, products, moisture shampoos, and I probably have some natural oils in it, that's why I chose to use this particular shampoo. So I'm going to put this to the side and let's go ahead and do our application. I have to go get my towel and my bag. So let's see what happens, y'all. And you know what? I just realized I was supposed to wet my hair first. So let me do that for the rest of my hair. My handy dandy spray bottle. There we go. Because we want the suds going on here. I'm not going for a really light, light blonde, but I do want more of a ashier tone of black, or uh, I'm sorry, an ashier tone of brown. So, those curls are popping. And I heard that this was a lot safer or less harsh on your hair than doing just a regular color. Oh, I really wanted to try this. And having natural hair, what I found watching YouTube, a lot of people have fails because they miss spots because your natural hair can be so thick in some areas um, that you don't exactly get the color into it like you need to. So, some people come out with, like, patches and whatnot, and that has happened to me in the past when I was new to coloring my hair. 
And so I really didn't want to go through that again. But I just kind of want to see. I do have a really sensitive scalp. You can tell it's already starting to take. It's starting to lighten some. My hair has grown so much. This is all new hair from my ginger oil that I've been using. I have a video. I'm going to do a review. It's Sunday. So I'm going to do a review on that uh, today, actually. So we'll see how that goes after I do this. I'll move a little bit of this away. You can see I'm changing to a little reddish tone. So we'll see how long that does it takes for me to get to a color that I really like. So I got it worked in really well. I have a little bit left because I don't have that much hair. So I have about a tablespoon left. So if you have a little fro like me, you can probably just measure uh, one part color with two parts uh, developer and you'll probably be all right. So I'm gonna let this sit. <coughs> and I'm gonna say for about maybe 10 minutes and see what we get. Back again. Um, again, I went ahead and did my eyebrows. I always do my eyebrows when I color my hair because I like, even though it doesn't necessarily make it as light as my hair, I like it a little lighter because it makes it look more natural. So it's been about eight to 10 minutes and it's got a really nice color copper. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it out and we'll see what we got because my scalp is not feeling great. I have a very sensitive scalp anyway. So I judge how long I leave it on by my scalp. So I'll rinse it out and we'll see what we get. This is the end result. I really like this color. It's not blonde, it's like a copper red. And my eyebrows took pretty well. I always put the color on my eyebrows after. I put the color on my hair and I let my color on my hair sit about five minutes because I don't want my eyebrows to be as light as my hair. I just want them to have around the same shade because I still want you to be able to see them on my face. So now I'm gonna do my vinegar rinse like I did before when I bleached it completely. And I'm gonna put about half the container of vinegar. I filled about half of this little container with vinegar. And I'm gonna add water. And I'm gonna lean over the sink and I'm gonna put this on my hair and let it sit underneath my conditioner. Uh, again, I use vinegar because it helps to kind of close that hair shaft back and I'm pretty satisfied with this color It's kind of what I was going for. I wanted to see where I would get with the soap cap um, I didn't really expect to get light like I did last time last time when I bleached it I mean, I was blonde this time I kind of wanted a subtle change to see where my hair would end up because I wasn't exactly sure what color I wanted so I kind of wanted to see what color would naturally pull I really like the color that naturally pulled. Uh, if I do decide to go completely blonde again, I would not do the soap cap just because my scalp cannot take the weight of the soap cap to get it to work because it does take longer. When I put the bleach on my hair before, it was like that. And I did have relaxed hair, but it's usually the case even on my natural hair that when I put it on there, as soon as I put the color on, it starts to take. I like that this will cover my gray hairs because they blend in a lot better than with my dark hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my vinegar in. I'm gonna put in my um, conditioner and then... So before I leave, uh, actually I just put my vinegar rinse in. So my hair officially smells like feet. Yes, Bragg vinegar smells straight like some feet. Anywho, I'm gonna put my ginger oil that I've been using. I have a video of how I made this. Um, how I made the base ginger oil. I also put some rosemary oil um, and oregano and lavender in it. And I bought a cute little container from Hobby Lobby to put on my dresser. Um, I'm gonna put this on before I do my conditioner because this stuff has been working miracles for my hair growth, like no joke. And I hardly ever lose any hair. So it's a little it's it's really nice it's been a very very pleasant surprise coming upon it and 
deciding to try it out. Um, so I'm going to put this, and I'm focusing a lot on my sides. I'm going to put this on my sides and my back. <laughs> then I'm going to put on my conditioner. For my conditioner today, I'm going to use two different ones. I'm going to use this one, which I showed you guys before. Last time I did my color on my relaxed hair. I'm very liberal with my uh, with my conditioner. I use a lot. I don't necessarily use a lot of shampoo, but I'm all about that conditioner life because I like my hair conditioned. So, and it seems that my hair like sucks it up. Like it doesn't even really look like I put a whole bunch of that conditioner on my hair. And then I have the Redken All Soft. I really like this one a lot. There you go. It's a heavy cream. I take this and I kind of put it, I put a little bit like that. And I do it like the way we used to oil our scalp sometimes. Or like today, I'm going to put it focusing on my edges and on my back. Because this stuff makes your hair so soft. And then I'll take a little more, about that much, and put it throughout my hair. So I'm going to put on a plastic bag and I'm going to sit under the dryer for about maybe 15 minutes while I watch a little bit of uh, Downton Abbey because I'm still in season six. And then, then I'll be back with it styled and possibly the makeup on and we'll see what the final color really is. This is my finished product. The color is really pretty. I really like it a lot. I just washed it, conditioned it with my conditioners, sat under the dryer for about 15-20 uh, minutes, and I put um, my leave-in conditioner in it, which I always put this stuff in everything. I put my hair oil in it, and then I also put some Eco Styler gel, and I use the I don't have it up here, but I use the Argan oil gel and I got the huge one because I use a nice amount on it because it holds my curls very nicely. But this is the finished product. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.